For the last week, we have been exposing the lies and deception of Muhammad Hijab and his Da'wah team, including Ali Da'wah who left Islam, Amin and Farid, and also Mr. Shamsi. None of them dared to call us live on our live shows for a debate. Now on my live show yesterday, Islam means peace. Does Islam means peace? One of the Muslims in the live chat sent me this message. His name is Ibn Al-Jurran. He said, Rob Christian, and I quote, you have two months to repent. Mr. Ibn Al-Ajuran is a nice jihadi terrorist, a cutie pie who is sending me a death threat. Mr. Ibn Al-Ajuran, what are you going to do in two months? Are you going to ask me for a nice dinner? Are you going to send me flowers in two months? Or are you going to kill me? in two months. This is clear proof that Islam must be the peaceful religion. Right, Muslims? So this is not the only Muslim who has been sending us death threats. I have received many death threats, not only on my live show yesterday, but also in Discord. Look what this guy is saying, Sint Haas. He says, then I will burn Christians and Jews. Christians and Jews? <laughs> and this guy, ah, it's James Charles, says, Rob Christian. And I quote, in real life, I'd slap you so hard you'd die in coma. Ha, ha, ha. And this same guy, Sint Haas, says, Rob Christian. I quote, as I said, I am proud to be Muslim slash terrorist. So you're, that means every Muslim is a terrorist according to you, right Mr. Siddhas? Thank you for the death threat. Right? That means you're going to kill us, right? Since you call, call yourself a terrorist, right? And this guy says, Mr. AKA says, when the final jihad comes, we Muslims will spill an ocean of the impure kuffar blood which means the jews the christians everyone basically who is not a muslim islam will rule from east to west north to south the banner of tawhid will shine bright so i've challenged this guy he calls himself asadullah ali al andalusi for a debate a live debate for everybody to see. On Skype, this guy never accepted my debate. I ask myself, why, Mr. Asadullah? Clearly you are a coward, like your Muslim heroes, to accept my debate. Now this Asadullah Ali Al-Andalusi claims to have worked for an anti-terrorist unit in Malaysia. So he was working as an agent for an anti-terrorist unit in Malaysia. Now my question is, Mr. Asadullah, since you reported our friend, the apostate prophet to the FBI once, you called the FBI on him, are you going to call the FBI on your Muslim friends who sit on your server, which you call Dorkistan, where you call yourself the Caliph. Are you, Mr. Esadullah Al-Andalusi, are you, as a so-called anti-terrorist agent who was capturing terrorist, Muslim terrorist, for example, are you going to step up since you claim to have worked for an anti-terrorist unit in Malaysia? Are you going to step up and do something about this jihadi terrorist called Ibn Al-Jurran? Who sent me a death threat? 
I mean, come on, you, you're not going to tell me that you don't know him. You know him, right? You know him, right? Yeah, I know you know him, Mr. Asadullah. So, are you going to stay silent? Or be a nice munafiq fi sabil Allah? Mr. Asadullah al-Andalusi? Are you going to call the FBI on him? Since you have been claiming to be an anti-terrorist agent? Or are you going to stay a nice hypocrite munafiq? It's up to you, Mr. Asadullah and Andalusi. And I really hope that you'll man up and face me in a real voice debate on Skype. Peace out. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. <laughs>